hello guys today i'm gonna show you how to do add header checkbox in data grid view this is the user interface design click on the top right in data grid view add a checkbox column select data grid view checkbox column name the checkbox column is chk and header text keep in the header text blank because we will add a header checkbox Research the checkbox column why it's only 50 because checkbox column no need to 100 that's why now to, to get the full user interface insert delete update uh, or you interfaces all code uh, see my previous video in my previous video I show you the link you how to connect in link you uh, in your project with SQL server database table now I'm gonna add a uh, header checkbox to header checkbox first of all declare a checkbox uh, dynamic checkbox header checkbox equal to null now add a header checkbox method this method will add a header checkbox dynamic header checkbox header checkbox equal to new checkbox this is the size of the checkbox now uh, call the in the form load event call the add header checkbox method to add the checkbox in the data grid view header checkbox column now debug just debug you can see that the checkbox already uh, already added now i will write a code uh, click event in the header checkbox header checkbox click event just follow the cursor <coughs> now i'm gonna create a mouse click event and header checkbox click event header che I, I first of all i will create a header checkbox click event to add header checkbox click event first of all uh, declare a uh, variable bool variable boolean type bool is header checkbox click equal to false first of all it will be false i mean it will be selected it will not be selected then um, i am adding a header checkbox click uh, click header checkbox click event i just copy paste the uh, code because of to reducing the time each header checkbox uh, click equal to true first of all if click then it will be true and for each if for, for each loop all checkbox will be select uh, select when you add the uh, header checkbox the checkbox name is chk i again show you the chk is the checkbox name what will be selected after selecting the header checkbox when header checkbox is clicked the all checkbox will be selected checked the view replaced and each header checkbox click equal to false finally i false it because of you know in the method private private void method uh, i have to declare a variable and then it will uh, you need to return now i am gonna create a mouse click event the header checkbox click event uh, i will call the in the mouse click event uh, i will call the mouse click event uh, in uh, I, I will call header checkbox click event into the mouse click event see that in the mouse click event i just called header checkbox click just checkbox center for the parameter of the mouse click event uh, checkbox header checkbox click event see checkbox in the form load event i just call the mouse uh, click event I just copy it and paste this is the header checkbox mouse click event copy the header checkbox mouse click event and paste it in the form load event ok so now just uh, just debug oh it's displaying an error uh, first of all I have to add the add header checkbox method then to get, to get the insert delete update charts and uh, connecting SQL database with C-Sharp projects in a previous video in the YouTube. That is, first of all, add header checkbox method. It will add checkbox in the data grid view header. Then it will execute the mouse click event. Uh, guys, I think you can under you can understand 
just cut the add header checkbox and first above header checkbox mouse click event if you think is helpful please subscribe for my upcoming video if you face any error please comment i will highly try to reply just cut cut the add header checkbox and paste uh, uh, above of mouse click event now just debug uh, now select it it's selected and deselect deselected fine uh, fine it's looking so fine and funny you can understand perfectly if you paste any complexity in this video please comment if you don't comment i cannot understand where where the problem occurred where it uh, paste, you paste the problem and uh, if you if you help me by providing comment then i can rectify myself and my video and you will be helpful now i'm going to show you the details of the selected checkbox when you select checkbox it will uh, extract the selected checkbox row uh, name address from the selected checkbox if you select multiple checkbox it will execute the multiple checkbox i just copied and paste the code uh, to reducing the time if i write all code it will take much time and the video will be so much longer what will not be effective for uh, for you to i declare name variable and address variable and message variable all are string now i am uh, create a loop for integer equal to zero i less than that give b1 dot rows count dot row count minus one i plus plus this is the checkbox this is the check if checkbox true if if you checkbox if that checkbox check the name from the second column and address from the third column of the selected check, checked uh, checkbox name and address will show in a message now to display the message i just copied and paste a label the message will display in the uh, lbl message control the text of this label is ms msg and name is lbl message lbl msg double click in the button go to the button click event now you see that m is equal to name name equal to name the name of the from the data grid view uh, selected check check checkbox and address is address here is the plus plus is used for all messages all selected see that i select one name Google uh, address Canada name John address USA you can see if you select two it will display the last one the first one is not displayed to display all selected record just put the plus sign in the MSG this is plus equal to means the first first message will take and second message will add it and will MSG equal to text now you can uh, select all now you can see the both both will display name john address us and name of address canada if you select all it will display all all messages so thank you